It has only been a few months since Aiku launched its mid-range monster, the Z3 in India. The phone was met with a lot of cheer despite not being exactly perfect. However, the company has now launched an upgrade in the form of the Aiku Z5, promising not only better specs but also what appears to be better value for money. We recently got our hands on the Aiku Z5 and since then have been quite impressed by the overall package. The phone offers a lot to like and comes in a package that looks premium for the price. However, much like the other IQ phones in the past, what helps the phone shine is definitely its core hardware. It comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G processor, a chipset that's become a popular choice for mid-range phones over the past few months. But how does it perform on the IQ Z5? And more importantly, how does the new phone from IQ perform in general when it comes to gaming? But before we get to answering that, let me welcome you all to Digit.in, your one-stop shop for all the latest gadget reviews and tech news. So if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Now with that out of the way, let's get to the IQ Z5. Why the IQ Z5 is not being explicitly marketed by the company as a gaming smartphone? it can still easily pass off as one. From its design to its display and software-based gaming features, there's enough to establish the IQ Z5 as a capable gaming smartphone. However, as we've mentioned before in this video, one of the major reasons why the IQ Z5 is good for gaming is the fact that it packs within its sleek frame some really powerful hardware. While the IQ Z5 is not amongst the first phones in India to be powered by the new Snapdragon 778 chipset, it has become the most affordable one because of Aiku's decision to price the phone really aggressively. But more on that later. For now, let's get through the specifications and performance of the device. At the heart of the phone, we have Qualcomm's latest mid-range offering, which has been built using an advanced 6 nanometer fabrication process. The chipset features four A78 prime cores, with one of them programmed to hit a peak frequency of up to 2.4 GHz while the other three are capable of hitting peak frequency of 2.2 GHz. The quad-core CPU also features four A55 cores running at 1.95 GHz. The GPU on board is the Adreno 642L, which also brings support for Qualcomm Snapdragon Elite Gaming. On our review unit, this has been paired to 12 GB of DDR5 RAM, which can be expanded by 4 GB using the extended RAM 2.0 feature which allows the user to use 4GB of storage memory as RAM. Talking about the storage, Aiku has equipped the phone with fast UFS 3.1 memory to speed up day-to-day -day tasks. Apart from these, the Aiku Z5 also offers other interesting hardware that contributes towards improving the overall gaming experience on the device. For example, we have a 6.67-inch Full HD Plus display on the phone, with support for high 120Hz refresh rate and 240Hz touch sampling rate. While the phone does offer a smart switch mode that promises dynamic switching of refresh rate, there is also the ability to manually set the phone's display to run at either 60, 90 or 120Hz at all times. And to handle the demands of this hardware, Aiku has fitted the phone with a massive 5000 mAh battery pack with support for 44W fast charging. In our time using the device, this helped the phone easily get through a day when not subjected to heavy gaming. Talking about gaming, all of this hardware comes together to create a powerful device capable of handling apps of daily use such as Twitter and Instagram without breaking a sweat and also capable of multitasking and playing resource intensive games without much trouble. As we found out during our review, the IQ Z5 provided an almost flawless experience with both apps and games running like a breeze on the phone. Thanks to its chipset and the fast refresh rate display, the phone feels snappy to use regardless of what you run on it. In our time with it, we tested its performance using a number of benchmark tests and also a few demanding games. For gaming, the IQ Z5 handled titles like Call of Duty Mobile and Asphalt 9 Legends with utmost ease and at the highest possible graphics settings. While the phone did not allow us to run Gamebench benchmarking tool, we felt the device's performance was up to the mark despite running both the games at maxed out settings. There were no noticeable stutters or heating issues, and both the games ran without any trouble. While there are many factors that contribute to such performance, 
The most important is possibly the fact that Qualcomm Snapdragon 778 SoC is a mature platform that manages to provide stable peaks, which ultimately leads to a smooth and stutter-free gaming experience. To back up this theory, we tested the chipset's performance using a number of benchmarks, including the CPU throttling test, to check how well the device's octa-core CPU was performing under load. The results we achieved were very good, as the test showed the phone only throttling to 88% of its performance during the course of the 15-minute stress test. On the other benchmarks, the performance again was generally quite good. In fact, the results showed the IQ Z5 clocking numbers slightly higher than what we've seen on other Snapdragon 778 SoC chip phones. These numbers were also pretty close to what we've seen from devices being powered by MediaTek's flagship chipset, Dimensity 1200 SoC. For example, in Antutu, the IQ Z5 achieved a high score that was around 15% more than what Xiaomi's Mi 11 Lite NE offers and about 5% less than what the Dimensity 1200 SoC part F3 GT offers. And as you can see on your screens right now, it was also the case for both the single core and multi core tests of Geekbench. To test the GPU performance using synthetic benchmarks, we used 3 Mark Wildlife, where the IQ Z5 scored 2568 points. This was higher than the scores clocked by Mi 11 Lite NE, but considerably less than the scores of the Poco F3 GT. Overall, no surprises here. So, should you buy the IQ Z5? With all the tests done and the results with us, we can safely say the IQ Z5 looks like a very promising device. It offers powerful performance and overall an enjoyable experience at a competitive price point. While the IQ Z5 does face a lot of competition in the market, the fact that it manages to offer high price to performance ratio could help it become another popular offering from the company. Thanks to its powerful chipset, the IQ Z5 offers more than enough juice to handle all that you throw at it, thereby helping it get one over other competing devices. Depending on what you're looking for from your next phone, the IQ Z5 may or may not end up being the gaming phone of your choice. However, if you're looking for a phone that offers a big battery and enough power for gaming, and that too at an aggressive price point, then the IQ Z5 should definitely be an option for you. So that was our take on the IQ Z5. Now if you liked the video, don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Also hit the bell icon to make sure you don't miss out on any of our videos. Thanks for watching.